Hey there, YTPC. It's your boy Cosmo, Cat Dad Piper. Hope you are having a great day. It's time for another tobacco tasting. Got the pipe like locked and loaded. This is my Savinelli Series 3 Zulu shape. I don't know the Savinelli number for it, but it is coloring up beautifully. And in it today, I have a very special tobacco from Smarty Bob. He sent this to me last summer. He was the first YTPC member to reach out to me via email. This is Smarty Bob's homemade blend. And this was a mix of leftover tobacco. So unfortunately, the proportions are unknown. And as you can see, I like it because there's, if I'm lucky, a bowl left after this. But it's a combination of Amphora, Virginia, Cavendish, and English. Let's do the tin note. I smell a Virginia. And I smell the Cavendish. I don't know that I smell anything necessarily that would say English. But between the vanilla and the Cavendish... It's got this really great, really great smell. It uh, smells sweet. And then mixed with the uh, Cavendish, it smells like sweet tea. That sounds a little odd, but that's what it smells like. Uh, we're going to do a one-take tobacco tasting since I've smoked this numerous times. And uh, give you my thoughts, tell you what I think. Good luck duplicating this. You can try to if you want to. I will say, I think Amphora, maybe because it's in a pouch, is a highly underrated tobacco. I've enjoyed everything I have had by them. Let's get this thing going. Nice char light. Get a little Roadrunner tamp. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'll have Smarty Bob's channel down in the bucket. Go give him a subscription if you're not already subscribed. He's a great guy, and his content is better than he thinks. So give us some YTPC love. Tell him Cosmo sent you. Using matches. Because I just bought more. Yesterday and it's still inside the garage. Because it's decent weather, but it's kind of rainy out. Again, Smarty Bob, this is a terrific smoke. Get him getting sweet. <clears throat> A nice mix of the kind of the Virginia and the Cavendish. And uh, even though there's no toppings, I'm getting a little bit of like maybe a vanilla meets cocoa. Again, this is just a terrific, easy smoke. A little sad I'm almost out of it and don't know the proportions to make it. But based on this blend alone, and Fora really knows how to make some pretty good tobacco.
I'm going to do a retro hell. A nice warming note through the nose. I think that's maybe where I get a little more English, a little fuller body. But I would say, most of all, I'm just getting a really nice sweetness. It's not coyly sweet. It packs a really great flavor without having a distinct flavor. It's delicious. If you like Virginias, if you like Cavendish, I recommend picking up maybe a couple bags and mixing them. I think they're eight or nine bucks for a pouch, which isn't bad. And I would say it creates a nice medium smoke in terms of mouthfeel. It's not light, it's not heavy, it's right there in the medium. Again, thank you Smarty Bob for being a friend and hooking me up with this early on. I smoked it a handful of times, kind of let it sit, then came back to it. I've been plowing through it since winter. Other than that, that's really all I had for this tobacco tasting. I'm going to keep enjoying this pipe. Uh, if you want to see other tobacco tastings, again, these are just my opinions, what I'm tasting, not a review. Uh, always consult maybe other YTPC members or tobacco reviews.com or seller website but if you want to see what i think and what i taste of other tobaccos i do have a playlist on my channel and while you're here if you haven't already you might want to give me a subscribe i know i'd appreciate it and if you want to hit the bell notification to let you know when i post videos i'm going to try from now on whenever i post tobacco tastings or yabos or uh share a pipe with me. I'm going to try to post them as premieres and be in the chat during the premiere. And once we start getting some consistently decent weather, I want to uh, try to have a weekly live chat. So, like I said, hope you're having a great day. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. And we'll see you soon.